How do mortgage lenders do no closing costs refinances? With Denver mortgage rates near all time lows, you might be looking into refinancing and have that question on your mind. So I'm gonna talk about that and more in this week's tip of the week. My name is RJ Baxter with Fairway Independent Mortgage. Let's talk about it. So there's all these entities involved with a mortgage transaction. I mean, let's, let's think about it. Well, there's the mortgage lender, of course. Oh, the title company. They handle the, the collection of all the funds and the distribution of the money. They handle your actual closing. Oh, and if you're on the East Coast or some other states, there might be an attorney involved. Oh, and then there's the county. The county, they wanna charge something to record your deed. They wanna collect your property taxes. Oh, the, there's the homeowner's insurance company. Oh, there's also the appraiser. You, a lot of times you have to get your house appraised on a refinance. Oh, and then there's all these behind the scenes things that you don't typically see as the consumer. There's the credit report. You have to get your credit pulled. There's what's called a flood certification. Even if you live on the top of a mountain, every transaction requires that we pull what's called a flood certification to verify if you're in a flood zone or not. So there's all these ancillary services and every one of these entities, they charge a fee. Now, whether you pay it or not, the fee is there. The fee doesn't just go away. So how do lenders do no closing costs refinances? Well, the answer is they lenders can raise your interest rate a little bit to then extend to you a credit to offset the fees. So you might be thinking, why would I want a higher interest rate? Let's just use an example. Let's say the going rate in the marketplace, just to use a number, is 4%. That might be the rate where you pay the quote unquote regular closing costs. And on any given day, the lender might charge, let's say a quarter percent higher. And, and be, by doing that, they can give you a 1% credit to offset your fees. So let's say for in this example, they raise the rate to 4.25%. And at that rate, they can give you a 1% credit. Now, if you have a $400,000 loan, let's say, that's a $4,000 credit. So that's gonna cover all of your fee, <coughs> excuse me, all of your fees and then some which might make sense in some circumstances. Let's say, for example, you're gonna have not gonna have the loan for the long term, maybe two, three, four years. It might make more sense to pay the fee or not pay the fees and pay a little bit more interest each month because the cost of the interest over that short period is gonna be less than the fees. So this is how lenders do no closing costs refinances. And it goes the other way too. If you, I don't know if you've heard of the term buy down but you can go the other direction and pay more fees in the in the form of discount points to obtain a lower rate. So for, in this example, you might pay a 1% fee to get a 3.75% rate. So that's just a little bit more about how lenders can do no closing cost refinances. Now, if you would, would like to take a look at your options and see if the no closing cost refinance makes sense for you, or if it makes more sense to pay fees or maybe even pay a buy down, I'd be happy to take a look at that for you, give you an analysis so you can look at both the short and long-term benefits of each option side by side so you can make the most informed financial decision. So just give me a call in the office if I can help you out with that. My name is RJ Baxter, Fairway Independent Mortgage. You guys have a great rest of your day. I appreciate you watching.